Next, we are going to take a look at how to fold over the edge of this flange and this flange. We do that with a feature called hem, which is located in the sheet metal ribbon. So I'll select the sheet metal tab, and there we have the hem. The very first item in the property manager is a window asking me to select an edge or multiple edges. So I'm going to go out to the screen and select this one outer edge. Now notice we have a fairly large hem as a preview. We can change that. But before we do that, notice we have a gray arrow in the middle of this hem. This allows you to flip the hem from the outside to the inside. We have the same setting or the same control in the property manager with the button reverse direction. Right below this window, we have two other options, material inside or bend outside. Let's zoom up on this area so we can better see this. Notice the original height of the flange. With the option set to material inside, the hem does not extend beyond the height of this flange. In fact, if I close out of the hem command, this flange will be trimmed to the tangent line of this hem. With the second option, bend outside, the hem is added to the top of the flange. We'll leave it at bend outside. Right below this in the property manager, we need to select type and size of hem. The first one is closed, and notice the preview on the screen. With the closed option, we do have control over the length of the hem. And notice the graphic here with the dimension on it. This length is from the outer tangent point to the end of the hem. I can key in a specific number or use the arrows. The next type is open. With this type, we control the length and gap distance. And also notice this gap distance is an inside distance. The third type is teardrop. With teardrop, we have control over the angle and the inside radius. And notice with the teardrop, the hem wraps around and it makes contact with the flange. The last type is rolled. With the rolled type, we also have control over angle and radius. We're going to set our sheet metal part to teardrop with an angle of 200 degrees and a radius of 0.5 millimeters. Right below this in the property manager, we can change the bend allowance and relief type from the default settings found in the gauge table. We're going to leave it with those settings. We're not going to make any changes here. Now, as I said earlier, we could have selected multiple edges. So I'm going to go back and select inside of this window and select this outer edge. And this hem will take on the same settings as the first hem based on these settings here. I'm going to select edit hem width. This says the sketch is valid. It also allows me to change the length of the hem. So notice this dark black line here with the two black dots on it. I can grab this left dot drag it over and shorten the hem. I can also add relations or I can add smart dimensions. I'm gonna grab this one, shorten it. Let's add a couple smart dimensions. We'll set this one to 10 and we'll do the same with this one, 10. Now if I try to do the same to the opposite side, You'll notice, unlike the first hem, on this side we have the black line with the two black dots. We do not have that black line with the two black dots. So we cannot shorten this hem. So if we wanted symmetrical hems, we should not have selected multiple edges. I do want the hems to be symmetrical. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select back to go to the property manager and remove this edge too. I'll close out of the hem command. I now have the one hem on the original side. Now to get the hem on the opposite side, I'm going to have to go to my features ribbon and select the mirror command. And it's prompting me for a face or plane to mirror about. I am going to attempt to use my primary planes. And it looks like I can use the right plane. And the features to mirror is hem one. And now we have two symmetrical hems.